Would you rather buy this or this to teach your kids how to add? These kids would rather play games than do a page of sum. Wouldn't your kids too? When my kids were ready for math, they were nowhere near ready to be holding a pencil or their attention to complete a worksheet. So, we turned to a deck of playing cards to help them practice the new skills they learnt. Even now, if I want them to practice a new set of math strategies, we turn to a deck of cards first. I want to share with you today three of my favourite go-to games to practice early edition. They are quick to learn, quick to play and great for review. Make sure you stay to the end when I explain how we make these games work for any age. Let's get right to it now. Game number one, Addition War. I like this game because it helps kids build quick responses for basic math facts. First thing we need to do, take a deck of cards, take out all the space cards. We do not want these cards, okay? You want to keep these number cards and even the, keep the ace, but we do not want any of these face cards. All right, once you've taken out all the face cards, shuffle the cards and deal them equally among the number of players you have. Let's say it's two. On your turn, take the top two cards and say the sum. Eight and one. Eight and one is nine. Very good. What did I get? I got 10 and four. 14. You get it. Yeah. Now, there are many variations if you get a tie. For us, we just play to the next pair and whoever wins the next pair wins all the cards on the table. Game number two. We call this game IC10. Now, the objective of the game is to find pairs of cards that make the sum of I see 10. Again, shuffle the cards, no face cards, lay them all face down. On each player's turn, they flip a card, and if they see two cards that add up to 10, they must call out, I see 10. I see 10. Uh -huh. I see 10. I like the practice that playing I see 10 gives children the opportunity to practice the number bonds of 10. 10 is an important number because it features so predominantly in our counting system. Think um, 10 cents, one dollar, one meter, thousand meters, one kilometer, a hundred degrees. It's a very important concept for them to understand in our decimal system. IC10 also lets kids discover the commutative oh. property of addition. What's commutative? You don't even need to know it. But I bet you know that 6 and 4 and 4 plus 6 are the same thing. That's commutative. Oh. The other thing that the game does is it helps prepare kids to ask the question of the missing addend. What goes with 6 to make 10? Is it 3? Oh no, it must be 4. The third and last game I want to introduce today is called Sleeping Royals. It's a more basic variation of the game right game called Sleeping Queens, but we call it Sleeping Royals because we are going to use all the face cards. The objective of the game is to simply collect as many of the face cards as you can, so make sure you include them in the deck before you shuffle. I like to use this game to introduce and practice part whole circles. But you don't have to use pothole circles if your player is already familiar and just needs to practice addition fluency. Shuffle the cards and deal five to each player. When I was using this to introduce pothole circles, I would also put a template on the play area. On your turn, you can play any number of cards that will make a balance equation or fit and apply correctly to a part whole circle. So I could put 10 equals 7 and 3, or 10 equals 8 plus 2. 5 and 3. Ah, I saw it! <laughs> Five, 
prison. This is eight is three and five. Yay! You can also accept doubles equations if you can state the sum correctly. Seven and seven is. Let, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Let me think. Let me look closely to the car. Make ten. A few moments later. It's for Kian. Correct! Then replace your hand up to five. If you receive any one of these face cards, show them to the rest of the players and set them aside, and then replenish your hand back up to five cards. Okay, take another card, Ricky. Okay, my turn. Oh, yeah, make, make your equation. Make your equation. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Put those used cards away in a discard pile. And then the next player can start their round again. The game ends when the deck is cleared and whoever has the most face cards wins. <laughs> Two, four. Five. I have five. You have? Seven. Nine. nine. Hooray! I So those are our three games. And how can everyone in the household play the games together? I give you permission to modify the rules and make up your own house rules that best suit your players. For example, if you have younger children playing Addition War, just have them play one card and whoever's card is greater wins the round. Or if you have older children and want them to do multi-numbered addition, have them add three cards or four cards each turn. Now, if you are playing Sleeping Royals, you don't have to limit yourself to just three cards. You can use all five cards if you can make a balanced equation. Ah! ah. I, I got three cards for seven. Oh, okay. And I got three cards okay, for seven. Okay, you can show seven. me on the parts. Yeah. Okay, you can put these two together like that. Mm. Okay, what's the equation? Tell me this equation since you use so many cards. Hmm. Point, 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 point. Seven is is seven is one one and five. Yeah. Also, you can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In fact, the more cards you use, the better your opportunity to gain a face card when you replenish your hand. If you are playing IC10, you can lay out all the cards or a fewer number of cards in a smaller array 9 or 12 or 16 and then replace these cards as they are cleared. There are so many ways to modify these games to suit your player. Find the best way that works for you. I will always choose this over this anytime because it's a much more enjoyable way for kids to build their number sense. Thanks for watching this video and let me know in the comments what are your favorite ways to play with the poker cards. While you're at it, check out the rest of my videos, subscribe to the channel and find me online at The Chili Betty. Go play a game! <laughs>